Julia, earlier in the week, you announced that you would be retiring at the end of the World Cup. What made it the right time for you? Yeah, I did. Um, I'm really proud of what I've achieved in netball so far. And um, I had a great time at the Swiss this year, and it's just the right time for me. I'm looking forward to spending time with my family and joining my husband um, living over in the UK later this year. What was the highlight of your final year in the ASEAN Championships with the Swifts? Yeah, I just loved the friendships we made along the way. It was such a great team to be a part of. Um, that's something I really miss. It was a really special bond we had this year, so it was an emotional week for me. Um, and yeah, my husband has seen many tears this week, and um, he know it's been hard, but um, yeah, we'll still stay great friends, um, you know, going forward. Is that one of the things you'll miss most after netball? Yeah, I think so. Um, you make so many great friends um, throughout netball and I think, you know, you make lifelong friends and you'll, um, you'll still stay in contact with them. But I think, you know, going on the road with the girls and all the fun we have together, um, I will certainly miss that. And can we ask what's one thing you will be very happy to do without moving on from netball? <laughs> I think there's a few things that I've thought of, but um, you know, not having to um, name all your items of clothing because it gets washed together with the girls and having to strap your ankles, um, the list goes on. But uh, you know, I, I think I'll just enjoy um, being able to travel around and not being on a schedule um, that we have to follow all the time um, when you're an elite sports person. But it's been a great journey. I've loved my time at the Swifts.